Hi guys, it's Kaz Crossley. I'm here for MMA TV, ahead of the Contenders MMA fight tomorrow. I'm joined with James Bulldog Borden. And that's How it. are you feeling today? Uh, tip top now, yeah. Uh, I've got my fluids back in me, so I need a bit of food and then I'm rocking to go. I'm ready. Yeah, and yeah. are you feeling confident for tomorrow? I am, yeah. Um, I may wait. Disappointed he didn't on the way in, to be fair, but right. is what it is. He's got two hours and hours to sort it out. And before we talk about the fight, yeah. um, how does it feel to be fighting in the Crystal Palace Sports Stadium um, in front of a packed out audience? It was actually where Lennox Lewis had his first couple fights when he was upcoming oh, I didn't as a know boxer. That. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. That's it, a bonus, look, eh? Does it make you Check more excited? Yeah, Lennox Lewis was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here for sure. Yeah, definitely. First time fighting in London as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's sweet. It's a nice venue. And where are you from? From the Somerset, the farmer land, like. Yeah. Down southwest, yeah, from Bridgewater Town. And you're going to be repping Somerset tomorrow night? I am, yes, yes. From a little town called Bridgewater. Probably about to sound proper Somerset, I expect, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, I love <laughs> I love the accent. Actually, my stepdad, he's from Bath, so he's got kind of oh, like... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. Um, so, have you got people coming to see you tomorrow? Yeah, I've got uh, about 60, I think, travelling up with me tomorrow. 60? Yeah. Wow, yeah. you're popular, isn't it? Well, yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's a lot of family. If like I say close friends is coming up, and I appreciate like the effort they're making, like you know, is um, yeah. I can't ask for no more than that. You know what I mean? And so. the people that uh, can't make it, are they going to watch it on the live yeah, stream? Yeah, I think I've, all in all, there's around about fifty to sixty guys who are going to subscribe to the MMA TV. So wow. Yeah, so, um, I'm, but, but I think they need to do this thing where they do the seven day trial, and then you can cancel it. Yeah. So I don't even want to quit that. Because <laughs> all my lot, like, they're like, oh, yeah, we do it, I'm going to cancel it after we ain't paying Make the sure they remember like. them. <laughs> uh, does that motivate you then, knowing that there's so many people that are going to be watching you? Does that make you feel nervous or does it give you more of a push? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel I fight better under pressure, to be fair with you. Um, through the COVID thing, um, we a few people done. I could have gone with a couple of um, promoters to do some work with them. But I, do you know what? I like fighting with a bit of a crowd. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. Especially the guys that come with me, yeah, they feel the same as how I do, nervous, and the anticipation is just amazing. When I walk out with the guys, like, they'll make some noise, they'll be rocking this place for sure. Like. Oh, Definitely. amazing. I Definitely. can't wait. It's going to be awesome. How has your fight camp been? Um, I had a bit of a long camp, to be honest with you, because uh, November time, obviously, I had a couple of years out, and I was sitting around about 100 kilos, so I was quite, quite a beefy, um, and I'm only five foot seven, so I look absolutely massive, like, you know. Uh, but this camp, yeah, it's been amazing. I was supposed to have fought, I think it was on the 3rd of March. Um, and uh, something happened with the promotions and whatnot. And something to do with the road contenders, it was. Um, and I was supposed to fight a guy called Liam Etabar. Yeah. Um, so, you know, things have got said about us. There's a little bit of issues there. But um, I'll sit here now and I promise you, after I do Josh Lee, I'll be coming for Liam Etabar. So let's get it on. So you got an official call out, yeah? That's... Yeah, man, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't run from no one in like, a couple of his guys, management and the rest of it, said that it was a little rat and run off. So, listen, you're having a laugh. I fight him, it didn't bother me. Easy. <laughs> yeah, man, let's do it. Let's get it on. So, apart from Etabar, what do you want to say to your opponent tomorrow? Um, just basically, look how you're going to get hiding. You're going to get what? A good hiding. A good ironing. Yeah, hiding. 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 I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 you best be hiding away. Hiding. Okay, okay. Hiding, I'm yeah, learning. Yeah. I'm learning. You can yeah. teach me more. He's going to get bit slapped. <laughs> nah, nah. Respect to him. I've, I've watched his fights, and uh, to be fair, he seems like he's got a good BJJ ground, and he's similar style to myself with the wrestling side. So, I just don't think he's been tested yet. No. No, I don't think he's had anyone like myself pressuring him on top and um, do the wrestling side because more, more my forte, and I just don't think he's been he, he's been it yet. Yeah. So, um, yeah, look out, mate. So you're hoping to show him tomorrow, Yeah, man, right? I'm looking for a show on his own entertainment, yeah, for Amazing. Sure. Well, we can't wait to see you, and good luck. I wish you all the best. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Cheers.